Thank you for joining us on Valley News Live. Here is a first alert weather day as the snow is making its way into the valley. Uh, crawling across the bottom of your screen, you see that we do have blizzard warning in effect for some of our northern valley counties. And uh, first alert weather day for conditions tonight and into tomorrow morning. Blizzard in some areas, mile uh, 60 mile per hour gusts will be likely in spots. and. We'll all be followed up as we go through the day on Friday with some Arctic cold. You can see the snow showers moving in now for that drive time here on our Thursday night commute. The camera really wobbling out there in the gusty winds. Now, right now the winds are from the south. These arrows in green uh, gusts to 30 and yellow gusts over around 40 miles per hour possible. So this is coming with some wind as the snow is falling but it's not as strong as it will get yet. So this little batch of snow has been dumping between an inch and two inches as it made its way through western parts of North Dakota, and it's on its way between now and 8 o'clock over the Red River and into western Minnesota. That's when you'll start to see some of what you just saw in the sky cam here in the FM area. Now, Fergus Falls all the way up to Roseau. Then look on the backside. There's going to be hit and miss pockets of precipitation. They could be liquidy. Look at those temperatures above freezing. Okay, on top of the snow that fell, it's going to get icy out there in places if it already isn't. And we do have some completely covered roads reported. Now, as we head to bed, look at the wind shift going on. No more southerly wind. It comes out of the north and it will rip ahead of that very strong Arctic cold front that will be making its way through. Where you see these orange and yellow uh, arrows here is where we'll have the best chance at seeing some of those gusts exceed 40 and approach 60 miles per hour. This is overnight, so be where you want to be. By the 10 o'clock hour overnight and into the morning, the winds get very strong out of the north. I think we'll see pockets of very strong and gusty winds. Jamestown into the Siston Hills as well. You know, get outside of the metro area in the FM area and things will get very dicey on some of the area roads. Now again, snow showers will persist into the overnight hours, but for most it will be all wrapped up by morning, but the wind will continue to blow. Temperatures first thing in the morning, generally between 10 and 20 degrees warmest south. They'll be falling like a two ton heavy thing throughout the day. Gusty winds will start to subside late in the day. That means it's going to be wind chilly as temperatures slip into the single digits near zero by the time it's five o'clock and quitting time. As we go into our Friday afternoon, wind chills overnight will be approaching that 15 to 30 below category on your Friday night. Dangerous cold taking hold after the clipper drops some snow. One to three, mainly north and east. We could see some small pockets with upwards of two inches of snow out to the west. Remember, it's not a lot of snow, but it will be icy. Here's that latest radar right smack dab over the Red River Valley. A heavy batch moving into Sisseton right now. Fargo Moorhead seeing some heavier snow. Oh, look at that stretch out there about 45 miles wide moving at 30 miles per hour. We're going to get some snow only for an hour and a half or so. So I'm only expecting an inch, maybe a little more than that in the FM area. A little bit more than that possible in Grand Forks in northwest Minnesota as well as it continues its trek eastward. Remember visibility is down to at times zero reported in the Oaks area just moments ago, but a lot of us at a quarter of a mile to a half of a mile. Gusty south winds now to 40 miles per hour once they switch direction and become northwesterly. After that 10 o'clock hour, things get icy and dicey. Look at the warmth out there. That explains why they may have a chance for some of that mixed precipitation out west as this system works its way through Friday. Fargo, 6 a.m., 18. Look at the stair step down all day. Falling temperatures as north winds usher in some ridiculously cold air for the remainder of the forecast period. Your hometown snapshot shows single digits in the 3 o'clock hour as you're wrapping up your Friday. Winds will be gusting over 30 miles per hour at 3 o'clock, slowly subsiding late in the day as that clipper exits into the Great Lakes. Arctic cold Saturday and Sunday, single digit sub zero readings for your daytime highs. Look at this, a balmy one on Tuesday, one above, but not so balmy in the morning. All in all,